Climate change is a spiritually urgent matter to me because when our youngest daughter was very small, our nighttime routine was always to tell stories and then to say our prayers together. And her prayers always started with the same bidding. Please, Lord, let there be enough water. When I was her age, the thought of going without water never occurred to me. The thought of praying for water never was a concern. But now, now it is. Through the prayers of my daughter, I can hear the whispers of the generations to come, our children's children's children, pleading with us now. We have not tended the earth with care. We have taken the rivers and the streams, the ponds and the lakes and the great glaciers, the fields and the forests for granted. We have taken too much with little regard for the generations to come. We have not been mindful and now the earth's temperatures are rising and we know now even quicker at home. It is time for us to say amen to the prayers of our children. On this Earth Day, I grieve that we have so often lost sight of our call to tend God's creation. And I commit to finding new ways for us to respond through word and in action in all that we do in ministry and mission to love the Earth. We are in a time of crisis, and yet a crisis always brings us hope and possibility. If there was ever a body that thrived on hope and possibility, it is the Church. And so I call you in prayer and in action for the love of creation. For the love of all creation.